Hey, this is Rudy Mendez, a.k.a. Live Bandit. I just made it up here to La Hacienda. It's about an hour and some change drive for me. So I had a lot of time to uh, meditate. Um, I, I went to an AA meeting this morning prior to coming up here. I already planned on coming up here. And the topic was um, uselessness, um, discipline, and training. And the training aspect really hit me. And then the discipline hit me a little bit. And then the uselessness um, was like really, really cool for me too. But the training aspect, you know, I am a triathlete, so I do swim, bike, run, and I train extremely hard for that um, so that I can get better and better and better. Well, AA, I train because, or I, I go to AA so that I can train and stay sober as well. You know, I use triathlons as part of my recovery program, but my the main meat of my, my recovery is going to AA and working with other alcoholics and addicts and listening to their stories. You know, a long time ago, I heard um, take the cotton out of my ears and put it in my mouth so that I can hear the, the messages that the old timers are talking about. Well, today's topic was training so that you can be disciplined, so that you can be useful. Haha, -ha, right? It's an amazing, amazing aspect to recovery. Now, in order to train, you have to be disciplined, okay? That right there is that double message, right? To train, you have to be disciplined, and to get disciplined, you have to train, okay? And so I train extremely hard in the AA meetings by listening to the old timers and hearing the messages that they got to say and putting that um, experience, strength, and hope into my life so that I can live a better life. Now, life isn't easy, right? It's not, but it's easier, okay? I still struggle spiritually, mentally, physically. Um, hell, me and my wife, we still have problems, but they're better. I utilize the tools that I learned in AA and from my sponsor in my life so that I can live a better life. Now, the cool thing is, is me training in, in, the, in, the, in the rooms, in the meeting rooms, I'm able to take that message and come up here to La Hacienda where I went to rehab and give it to the current residents. Now, in order, because in order to keep my sobriety, I have to give it away, okay? And in order to give it away, I have to have a message. I have to have experience, strength, and hope. And I have to be positive with a good attitude. Like my grand sponsor says, bring a good attitude, okay? I love that saying because it makes me have to work on the positives in my life, okay? I train to be positive. I train to stay recover or, or be in recovery and stay sober. I train so that I can help out that still suffering alcoholic. And again, the way that I do that is by going to meetings, taking the cotton out of my ears, putting it in my mouth, and listening to the messages. And not just listening to them, retaining them and then utilizing them in my life so that I can live a better life. Um, and that's really... What I got today is I train as hard in the AA rooms as I did out on the road, you know, before my back surgery, as I did out on the road, out on the, uh, out in the water, because in order to get stronger, I have to train. And the only way I'm going to train and get stronger is by going to meetings and working with other alcoholics. Um, oh, and the other aspect that I wanted to talk about is I just recently picked up a few sponsees. And I have to work with my sponsor now even harder in order to stay ahead of my sponsees. Now, you know, I'm, I'm working with them. I'm training them, right? And I've got to be a better person. I've got to be a stronger person in order to give them experience, strength, and hope. In order to do that, I got to work with my sponsor with the big book, on my steps, in my spiritual life in my emotional and and life with my wife and, and my relationship wife, uh, life with my wife and other people, right? I've got to work with my sponsor in order to get stronger so that I can work with my sponsees, okay? Um, I hate using the word training a sponsee because I am only two years sober. Tomorrow, I'll be two years sober, January 7th, 2019. Um, I am sub five years, and my first sponsor told me that when you're under five years and you pick up a sponsee, um, you're not there to keep them sober. They're there to keep me sober. Okay. And so again, 
they keep me sober because they make me work with my sponsor so that I can stay ahead of them. Um, other than that, guys and gals, this is Live Bandit. I'm out. I got to go talk to some current residents and to give my experience, strength, and hope and have some fun with it. So, um, Live Bandit, and I'm out.